Tragedy in Chattanooga today. Police revealing that the bus driver involved in the deadly school bus crash did not have drugs or alcohol in his system. Thanks for joining us. I'm Richard Ransom. I'm Claudia Barb. The NTSB also just revealed that the school bus was not on its designated route that afternoon. 24 year old Jonathan e. Walker faces five counts of vehicular homicide. And as police and federal investigators work to determine the cause of the crash, including looking at video from three cameras inside the bus, Chattanooga is in mourning. WREG's Michael Quander is in Chattanooga tonight learning more about the victims who were killed and those still fighting for their lives. Now, while 12 of those children are still here recovering at the hospital, there are five families here in Chattanooga that will spend their Thanksgiving grieving the loss of their babies. And this, this is such a tragedy right now. Look at their faces. Five kids that weren't given the chance to live. School bus flipped off the roadway. The children killed in an instant. I can see an arm moving, but I don't know if anybody can get to it. While more than a dozen others were rushed to the hospital. This school bus mangled after police say it flipped over and slammed into a tree. Our prayers are with them and we love them all and may they all rest in peace. Michelle Ingram's heart broken as she set stuffed animals at the crash site. We all are feeling this impact right now. It's just real sad. Even first responders taking it just as hard as everyone else. A lot of our investigators have school age children. I have a daughter who I put on the school bus every day. And as angels watch over the memorial, candles work to bring light to a dark situation. A community, a nation banding together, remembering six year old Zayara Mateen, six year old Damayan Brown. Nine year olds Zoe Nash and Cordasia Jones, and 10 year old Zayana Harris. I ain't just, I ain't just gone. She, you know, she was young. My life hadn't even really begun. She gone. She gone. Reporting for WREG in Chattanooga, I'm Michael Quander. Well, the company which operates school buses in Chattanooga, Durham School Services, is speaking out for the first time since that horrific crash. 